Hi all, welcome to the Salesforce Ultimate Guide channel. In this video, we are going to continue with our next trigger scenario, question number 19. On account, create two checkbox fields labeled as contact and opportunity. Now, when a new account record is created and if a particular contact or opportunity checkbox is checked, then create that related record. Also, opportunity record should be created only if the account record active pick list is populated with a yes value okay so we are going to work on this user story first i will try to explain uh, it on ui what we want to achieve through this scenario is let us say that uh, we have two fields okay on the account uh, their name is contact contact is contact underscore underscore c it's a checkbox as well as opportunity 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 underscore underscore c checkbox these two fields have created and there is already one active field okay this is already existing by default uh so let us say that i am creating one new account okay test account under and then there are like contact and opportunity to check boxes are there and active field is there and let us say that i'm creating clicking on this contact and opportunity both and uh, i'm just clicking on save then if we go to the related list one contact as well as one opportunity should also be created so that is our use case and they have given one more condition like if the account also, a positive record should be created only if the account record active check list is populated with a yes value. Okay, so that means when I'm creating the uh, new account, if I populate active as yes, then only the a positive will get created, or else a positive will not get created. Okay, so this is the our problem statement on the UI. So this is how we want to achieve it. Okay, but how do we start? So the very starting point is this is one of the involving two objects. So it will be after trigger. Okay. So uh, I have um, noted down the design here. So we have the account. Okay. So this is the triggering object. If something happens on the account, either the contact or opportunity should be created. So we have to mainly write our trigger on account. Okay. So that is the very first point we need to find out. So I'll go and uh, start with my uh, code writing. Okay. So new Apex trigger account trigger 19 and it is on account. The very first thing I will change it to after insert and I will check if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is inside okay so after this as usual we have to start with our for loop for account sec in trigger dot new so all with we so we are going through the we are iterating through the all the new records which are being either uploaded uh, or inserted through ui okay so the very first thing um, we will put a if condition okay if condition we need to find out the field api names so first i will open the account object i'll sort the name by alphabetically then uh, on this we need uh, a con contact as well as the opportunity fields opportunity these are the two custom fields i created checkbox fields okay then i will utilize them here the very first thing i need to create a contact only if contact underscore underscore c is true okay so i'm checking if contact underscore underscore c of acc so acc dot contact underscore underscore c is equal to equal to true we can either write like this or we can write it just uh, whenever it is true we can just mention acc dot contact so this will check if it is a true value okay then we have to create one of the contact record okay so the very 
uh, starting point will be like creating creating an object contact on equal to new contact Uh, then the very next thing will be con we are, we need to feed some values to the contact fields okay for the contact what are all the uh, mandatory fields so we'll go to the contact contacts last name is a mandatory field so apart from that no, there is nothing else but we need to public last name and we need to public account him as well because uh, we want it to connect it with the uh, we make a, we want to make connection it with the uh, new account which we are creating so that's why i am going to first populate contact dot last name uh, first if you want to see the contact record contact dot object field so contact dot object i sort it and then we have last name just to take out this for Richard purpose and then contact dot last name as well as um I'd be requiring account ID mm -hmm. and first name as well and populate very okay so this will help us to write it easily contact dot last name So I need to populate it with some values. So just I'm giving account dot name as the last name okay. and then contact dot first name. It's going to be NCC dot. Uh, no, I'll just uh, add it like first name. Then I need to populate the account ID. It's going to be the acc dot id okay so whatever the account we have created so for it is the id of that particular record that is we are going to add it here but uh, since we want to bulkify this code so outside the for loop i will just define one contact list okay so in this contact list within this contact list i need to add my new object that is con okay the very first condition is done so we have another thing we need to work with uh, checking the opacity uh, as well so i'm putting one more if condition if acc dot opportunity opacity underscore underscore c is true and also we need acc dot active field as well so active should be also be yes because they are mentioned only if the account record active request is populated with a yes okay equal to uh equal to, equal to a yes value then we are going to create one of the opacity record so we will create one object new opportunity So then I'll I will check what are all the mandatory fields on the opportunity. Okay, so if I go to opportunities, click on new. So close date, stage name, stage, as well as opportunity name. Okay. So for that, I'll first open the opportunity object here. Okay then uh, i need to fetch out name stage name as well as close date and as well as account id so these four fields i need to utilize okay so for that purpose apostle dot very first style populate with name is going to be the acc name so counts name only i'm reutilizing it to store here then opportunities dot stage name it's going to be any one of the value we need to give right now hard-coded prospecting 
it depends on the situation if in real time project if they want it to populate with some value it populated with that value dot close date that going to be i can just give system dot today as well as i need to associate it with account so i'm going to give opacity dot account id is equal to acc dot id okay soon after we have created the object we need to add it to one of the list so i need to create one of the opacity list And for this supposed list dot add of OPP. Okay, now we have created all the logic. Soon after this, we have to come outside the for loops to get to what is the last place. So click on here. So this is the green symbol, and this is the green. So if if you want to come out of for loop, so after this brace, uh, we are outside the for loop. Then we need to just check this whether this list is not empty. So if it is not empty, not of con list dot is empty. Then we need to insert that list. Similarly, if not of opacity list dot is empty. insert the opacity list as well okay this is how is the trigger part so we will check it on ui now so i will go to a account create a new account test account 200 and i am checking this contact as well as opacity and i am just trying my very first first two scenarios i am giving active is yes okay if i click on yes contact one of contact is created as well as one opacity is also created okay and let us say that i want to try out another scenario okay in this one uh, i will select both contact opacity but i am not going to give active checkbox okay then what happens is only contact will get generated opacity will not get generated okay uh how about the third condition? Any new scenario you guys are thinking? Test account. Let us say that these two are not checked, then nothing will be getting generated. So let us say that just I want to create a contact or I just want to create a opacity. Then opacity, if I have to create, I need to give it as yes. Okay, then if I click on save, then on opacity will get generated. So I'll uh, explain the code again. So the very first thing is we are iterating through all the new account records. And if it uh, is dot contact is marked as true, then I'm creating one new object for the contact and adding all the field values. Uh, if this condition is on the contact answer C is marked true, or else in another condition, I'm checking if the account dot opacity is marked true and account dot active status is yes and i am creating one of the new object for opacity and assigning all the values and i am adding it to one of the uh, list uh, list okay so afterwards at the very outside of the for loop we have to insert the uh, list so if contact list is not empty then i am inserting contact list if opacity list is not empty then i am inserting opacity list so this was one of the like big trigger but uh, it is one of the challenging and uh, we can learn so many concepts uh, and <clears throat> so if you guys are uh, facing anywhere problem like uh, you can comment it on the comment section so i'll clarify those doubts and if you guys have like uh, understood this video and liked it so please click the like button on this particular video uh, thank you so much i'll come up with uh, more scenarios in the next upcoming session thank you